This is why you need to pray over your new house and properties. So as you can see, this house looks very well kept. The lawn is big and is great for hosting friends and family over. I agree. It's beautiful. But I still need to wait for my husband to approve of it first, before we go ahead with the purchase. Ah, yes. Where is he? He went for a meeting, but I'll wait for him to come over, so that we can view the property together. So Jarvis, what do you think? Amazing! Let's make the down payment for this house immediately. I'm glad you two like this house. Please follow me to our office so that we can sign some documents, shall we? This has been one busy week. But I'm so happy that we were finally able to move in. Yeah, I'm really tired. Let's just go to bed Amanda. These new house owners, Jarvis and Amanda seem so unaware of things. They are so gullible. But since they have already signed the documentation, I now have some authority to secretly steal their finances and do whatever havoc that I need to do on their lives. I have dedicated all my properties to my spirits in order to secure my finances. Anyway, let me send my spirit agents into their home. Ah, nice. I have received a notification of my salary payment. I need to start paying part of my mortgage, then I'll make installment for the prime piece of land that I had seen on Tree Hill. Hello Mr. Jarvis. Oh hello. I haven't seen you Mr. Curtis. Can I talk to you for a minute? I just happened to be around the neighborhood. Have you settled well into your new house? Yes we have. We are glad we purchased it. I wanted to propose something to you Jarvis. I'm sorry to intrude, but I'm actually interested in selling one of my cars. I wanted to let you know, just in case you might be interested, or if you know someone who might be interested with this proposal. That's interesting. Well. My car is an old model, but it has never given me problems before. I'm not really looking to buy any new car for now. I see. But which car would you like to sell off? My sports car. I'm selling it at a very affordable rate. I want you to buy it. I really want you to. Are you forcing me to purchase it? Of course not. I don't want to pressure you. I want you to make your own decision. Why don't I think about it? Then I will let you know of my decision. No problem. Take your time. Okay. Have a good evening. Excuse me. Enjoy your evening too. Oh I will make you buy it, whether you like it or not. I'll make sure that this piece of junk will cost you a fortune. The more you spend on expenses, the richer I'll spiritually get from your expenses. What's wrong, dear? You were screaming at the top of your lungs. I could barely breathe, Jarvis. I felt as though somebody was sitting on my chest. I've never experienced anything like that before. But there's no one else here. Are you sure it wasn't a bad dream? No, I'm sure. I could barely move. I could barely talk. That was so scary. What was that? Jarvis, is that you dear? What's going on? As far as I know, Jarvis took the car to the mechanic for repairs. Let me check where these noises are coming from. I thought I heard some flushing sound. Maybe I'm now imagining things. I see nothing strange here. Nobody's here. 
I'm certain that I heard noises in this house. Either that, or I'm now hearing my own things. I'm suddenly feeling lightheaded. Oh my head. Amanda? Please wake up. <sighs> what happened? I found you on the floor. You had fainted. But I don't feel good Jarvis. My body aches everywhere. I just suddenly felt weak, but I cannot remember anything. But before that, I remember hearing strange noises all over the house, and when I came to check on where the noises were coming from, I went numb, then I don't remember anything else. <sighs> I'm really worried about you. Let's go to hospital. It has refused to start. This car has been having issues of late. Yeah, even my mechanic has no idea what's wrong with it. Come on. Start. I feel really sick. There's no point. Let's just hail a taxi. I have run all the tests that pertains to your symptoms, Amanda. All the results have come back negative for any condition. But what's wrong with her? I just found her lying on the floor when I came back home. I feel so weak. We need to admit her to keep a watch on her. Nobody now wants to pick up my calls. I have asked my friends for so much money. But I'm now quickly running out of options. I think it's time to sell off my car. Jarvis sold off his car at a throwaway price. His finances started drying up. Welcome to our new house, Pastor. It's beautiful, Jarvis. What's wrong? It's just something that I am sensing. Anyway, where's Amanda? How is she doing? She's upstairs, still I'm not feeling well. They have run all the tests on her, and there's nothing wrong with her. We have prayed together, I've prayed over her. I don't know what's wrong. Why do you keep looking around past her? Did you pray over this house when you moved in? No, we just moved in. You see Jarvis, there are landowners or landlords who dedicate their properties to dark powers. So what happens is that the occupants of that house, if they are not spiritually aware, will start experiencing hardships and strange occurrences, as long as they live in that house. And even if it's not the owners who have done this, you might find that the previous occupants were into very strange practices. It's interesting that you've mentioned this pastor. So whenever you buy a new house, new piece of land, or new car, you need to dedicate them to God, for it's now yours. Give God authority over your properties. However, if you rent a house or business space, you still have jurisdiction over that place, even though you don't own it. You first need to pray over it and take charge over it in prayer, because we sometimes may not know the origins or foundation of the property. This is where you need to apply wisdom and discernment especially when moving into a piece of property that is not yours. Unfortunately, some people may experience stagnation while living in rentals that have a bad foundation. Could it be that our problems might have originated from the foundation of this house? But I can relate to what you have just said. I have been financially drained since we moved into this new home. And Amanda has suddenly fell really ill after a series of strange occurrences in the house. Have you rented the house, or did you purchase it? We bought the house. But can you please pray over and dedicate this house past her? Sure Jarvis. Let's pray over the house and its foundation, then I will pray over Amanda. Oh Heavenly Father, we come before you today in agreement over this house foundation in Jesus' name. We wipe away and nullify every evil ordinance that was made on the foundation and ground of this house and property by the blood of Jesus. We send the fire of the Holy Ghost to uproot every evil plantation that is in this house, 
and we decree that the foundation of the house shall favor its occupants in Jesus' name. Amen. We command every dark and evil spirit to depart from this house and its foundation in the name of Jesus, and we hereby invite the Holy Spirit to reside in this house from now henceforth. Amen. Blood of Jesus, purge out and nullify every evil sacrifice or ungodly covenant that was done on this foundation, and we silence every evil voice speak from this foundation in Jesus' name. Amen. We invite God Jehovah, to take authority over this house foundation, and we decree that peace, favor, and progress shall dwell here. For it's written in Isaiah 32, 18, that my people will live in peaceful dwelling places, in secure homes, in undisturbed places of rest. Amen. We pray that you heal Amanda of this mysterious disease O Lord, and that her health is restored. It's in Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for the prayers. Well, you look so much better dear. I feel so much better. Glory be to God.